50th straight year, Pittston area and Wyoming area met Friday night at Charlie Trippy Stadium. Number one seed in District 2 was on the line for the Warriors while Pittston area was looking to get into the playoffs. On Pittston area's first possession, here's Walter Colsey sacked by Kyle Carr. The Patriots do recover. That forced them to punt, however, and Brian Miles goes in for the touchdown to make it 7-0 Warriors. We're just three minutes into the game. <laughs> Following the Wyoming area score, Pittston area came right back. Here's Kemar Woodruff going over the left side. He gets six yards, followed by a Coles to Rich Wallace screen pass. Wallace takes it up the field for another six yards. That set up this pitch play to Trevor Tig. The sophomore takes the pitch from Coles. He cuts back. He goes through the Wyoming area line all the way down to the Wyoming area four yard line. Right back, Trevor Tig, the ball carrier. That set up this slant pass from Coles to Kevin Krawcheck, and that gave Pittston area a lead after they got the two-point conversion. Still in the first quarter, Steve Holmes' pass to P.J. Angeli puts Wyoming area back on top. Angeli goes into the end zone. That was one of two Steve Holmes touchdown passes on the night. That's when Carmelo Falcone MVP Brian Miles got going. Miles finished the game with 25 carries, 142 yards, and three touchdowns. Right before halftime, Pittston area had a chance to stop Wyoming area on fourth down, but this fourth down play, Miles will go over the top of the Pittston area line. He just barely sneaks into the end zone, and that put Wyoming area on top, 19 to eight, heading into halftime. Following a 49-yard touchdown run by Miles, Justin Joseph and the Warriors got the ball back. That was Joseph going 45 yards down the right sideline. He would finish off the drive with a four-yard touchdown run with six minutes and 40 seconds left to play in the third quarter. Now down 33 to eight in the third quarter. Here's Woodruff, he goes over the left side. He gets 16 yards for Pittston area and the Patriots had the ball moving again. Coles later would hit Rich Wallace on the slant pass. That made it 33-14 as Pittston area failed on the two point conversion. Here in the fourth quarter, Mark Minichello gets the handoff. He goes over the left side. He gets all the way down to the 26 yard line for Wyoming area. That set up this. Steve Holmes a pass to Anthony Sayada for the touchdown in the backside of the end zone. That put up Wyoming area 40 to 14 with seven minutes and 12 seconds to go. The 46-20 win gave Wyoming area the top seed in District 2 Class 4A and home field advantage throughout the playoffs. A lot, a lot of great players in this rivalry have won it and it just means a lot to be part of that. So the field's great playing in front of our and fans, our community, and our home field. A little bit, but once the line got the line got going, I think we, I think when our lines click and they're one of the best lines in the conference, actually the best. It, it mean it means everything. We've beaten them ever since we were ninth grade. I mean, it just they're very cool.